exciting! Are you all right? Uh, I think so. <clears throat> Looks like there's a town up there. Hopefully one that isn't deserted. Well, you'll never find out if you don't go and see. Yeah, of course I speak and put your pointy stick away, asshole. Move! All right, move it. Where are we now? This is the city of Sipor. Why are they speaking English? It's my experience that languages share commonalities across many dimensions. Okay, any answer works for me, I guess. Quiet! Keep moving, fiend! Uh, of course. Back in court. Let me go! Easy. Settle. Settle. Who are you, child? Who are you? I would humble thyself and answer their questions. I got this. I'm used to repping thyself. I don't think you comprehend the gravity of your situation. I got myself out of much tougher scrapes than this, thank you very much. So why don't you shut your shiny mouth and let me do the talking? Good her. She speaks with invisible beings. Does she in cahoots with demons? What? No. And, and who uses cahoots? I would like to hear the answer to Councilwoman Bullet's question, child. My name is Frey Holland. I do not know how I got here. I am exhausted. I am starving, and all I want is to go home. Her vestments are strange. Where is she from? Hell's Kitchen. You see? She is Hell's Spawn. How else could she survive in the corruption? Please. How did you emerge from the corruption of Janoon unscathed? I wouldn't exactly say unscathed. It's because she and the corruption are one and the same. We must execute her immediately. Wait, what? No, that's crazy. I don't even know how I got here. Please, listen to me. I believe we need her. Who wishes to address the council? Forgive me. I am Odin Keen. All this woman is guilty of is surviving the corrupted lands. We have much to learn from her. Until now, we've only met her with blades. Perhaps we could extend her a hand of kindness. The devil will accept your kindness, as it bites your hand, spreading its venomous corruption into your veins. We must deal with this interloper swiftly. Councilwoman Burlett, please! Both Odin King and Councilman Janesh have made very compelling arguments. Council is divided. Therefore, there shall be no blood spilled today. But... Heed my warning, child. If you prove a threat, we will have no choice but to eliminate you. Take her to the Tower of Binoy. Please, Councilwoman Bellad, your ruling is too harsh. Council is adjourned. She has done nothing wrong. Wait, what, uh, Tower of Binoy? What's the Tower of Binoy? I believe it's a prison. Please! What? Oh, hell no! I'm not getting locked up again! Let me go! Let me go! Don't touch me, asshole! Oh.
Get up! Get up. Get up. Get up! Get up! Get up! Look. I am imprisoned, a million miles from home, in a Ren Fair nightmare. Just let me die in peace. If you die, I'm just a meaningless bauble that they bury you with. And I am fine with that. Just leave me alone. You know what? None of this is my fault. This is all your and, fucking fault. And tell me fault. how exactly this is my fault. Can we just not talk? Fine. Fine by me. Suit yourself. I'd love a bit of silence. Fantastic. <sighs> you say another fucking word. You know, I never thought I'd miss the Hell's Kitchen courthouse. Mm. Mm. Shit, of course it's locked. I doubt you'll be squeezing your way to freedom through there. No shit. Damn it, this is going nowhere. Did that piss bucket do something to annoy you? No. You know what? You did. Because of you, I'm not getting back to- Newark? New York. How hard is that to remember? Maybe as hard to remember as Vambrace? If memory serves me right, you weren't exactly in the best of spirits when our paths first crossed. I'm not sure why you're so determined to return. You know what? I'm just gonna use magic to bust us out of here. It isn't advisable to use your abilities in front of them. Why not? They already think I'm in cahoots with demons. But they will hang you for being a heretic. What, like a Salem situation? Do you expect me to know what that means? <sighs> Look, we, we did it your way, and now we're gonna try it my way. <laughs> did I just do that? Quick, put this on. Who's there? I will free you, but you have to put it on and do as I say. Okay, it's on. You. You're the one who stood up for me in court. Why are you doing this? Because I believe you. But we must hurry. How did you sneak past the guards? I prepared a tincture of slumber baked into a pastry. Hmm. Looks can really be deceiving. Let's go before they wake. Wait. Where are we going? What's your angle? Angle? She did defend you in court, and right now she seems to be your only option. Fair point. All right, wherever we're going, there's got to be food. Well, this is serendipitous. You're telling me. Did you say something? What? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Please, after you. You sure this is a good idea? I mean, aren't you gonna get yourself in trouble? Don't worry about me. Besides, I couldn't just stand idly by while they treated you so unfairly. Who are those people running the trial? You mean the Council of Sepul? They're the leaders of our city. They settle all our disputes. 
Judge and jury all rolled into one, huh? Efficient. As you can see, our land suffers. Everything that corruption touches... It breaks. Yeah. I saw it up close. It's real fucked up in there. Uh, not pleasant. Indeed. Athia's all but lost. Where did the break shit come from? I'll tell you soon enough. We must keep moving. So where are we going exactly? We should make our way to the lower city. The lower city. Got it. What were you even doing at the courtroom? No one has arrived from outside the city for many years. Everyone in town wants to know who you are. Price and notoriety, I guess. After what you called the break shit. Uh, let's just go with the break. After the break occurred, people fled their villages. Sir Paul is the last bastion. Damn. I would advise staying off the main thoroughfares. 